All right, you lot, this is Keith Cox. I'm Keith and it's Christmas. And again, so uh, this time I'm gonna show you how to make some Christmas nibbles, specifically, blinny, and some bonus things, some sort of sausage roll-like things, because I've got some stuff left over. Before we start, a shout out to Jeff Weldon, who wanted a shout out. You got it. And also new Patreon fan, Paul Oliver, and super, super duper super fan, um, Kay Christiansen. Thank you very, very much. Um, so yeah, that was my, my little bag in the last video. It actually worked. So um, I think I'll do another one. I have a Patreon. I am Keefy Boy. Or are I my Keith Cooks? Anyway. I'll be linked in the description, but if you don't want the long-term commitment of a, a monthly thing, uh, you can make a one-off donation by just uh, going on to PayPal and sending money to info at keithcooks.com because the page of my website that used to handle this is broken at the moment. I just haven't got time to fix it. Anyway, I digress. Uh, I've actually done all the major Christmassy food recipes that I can think of and so there's a playlist uh, Click that and you'll get get the playlist of all my Christmas videos, but blinnies are something that I, I love them But um, you know they're a bit well they involve yeast so they're a bit of a faff to make but um, they're really worth it So without further ado, let's go on with it. So ingredients for the blinnies. I've got flour 75 grams of plain flour, 75 grams of strong white bread flour. I've got milk, um, 150 ml, and also sour cream, maybe 75 ml, maybe, I don't know. <laughs> Half teaspoon of yeast, one or two teaspoons of caraway seeds, um, half teaspoon of salt, and two eggs that need to be separated. Okay, terminology. These are Russian things. I don't know how the Russian language works, but I'm pretty sure that blinny is plural already. So, you know, the singular one blinny, one blin would be one blin. Um, and so when you say blinnies, you're saying, uh, you know, plural, plural, blinny, blin. Anyway, yeah, let's not go there. Uh, we're English and we don't care about messing up things like that, so we are calling them blinnies. Even though it's wrong, and we know it's wrong. There you go. So I've added the salt and the caraway seeds to this, and that, should, and that just needs a quick mix. I, I've, kind of I've kind of lost the plot. I don't need to use the mixer for this. Um, so I've transferred the flowers and stuff to a normal bowl and now I need to warm the milk. Well, heat it almost to boiling point but don't let it boil. So I need 150ml of milk. Whack that on the stove. While it's heating I'll just separate the eggs. So we're off the heat and um, it's hot but not nowhere near boiling. So um, we add the yeast, half a teaspoon, and the egg yolks. Just whiz those together. And then add the sour cream. Now we need to add that liquid to the flowers. Okay, so they're mixed together and quite smooth. So I'm just gonna cover it and leave it in a warm place for about an hour. And um, it should start to bubble, fizz a little bit. All right, bonus recipe. Not actually the one I was expecting to do. Yesterday we had a Christmas uh, sort of pop look lunch thing at my yoga class. Didn't know I did yoga, did you? But half of them are vegetarian, so I thought, I, you know, I, I usually do something vegetarian. And, um, but uh, 
trying to fit in with the season and be a bit Christmassy. So, um, vegetarian sausage rolls. Uh -huh. uh, so I've got I've got a little bit of pastry left over and a little bit of the filling, which isn't the filling I thought I had. <laughs> this is uh, chestnut and cranberry stuffing again, which I did wrapped in bacon last week. It's not the same batch, but the one that I thought I had was uh, a can of chickpeas, a can of tomatoes, half small onion chopped finely and just sautéed with uh, some cumin seeds. And you just cook them all together and then mash them and so you get a kind of, you know, a granular texture and uh, it's really, really nice. And when I told them that it wasn't meat, they were like, um, well, very impressed. Anyway, can't do that today. So I'm doing this instead. So you just want to get some flour on your work top, roll out your pastry. So roll it out into a long narrow strip and then spread out your filling. So I just want to moisten the far edge with water and roll it up from the bottom edge. There we go. And get your seal on the bottom. Now we'll just chop them into very small ones actually, uh, a couple of centimetres, about just under an inch. Right, I'm going to bake the not sausage rolls. So you need your oven preheating to 180 degrees Celsius for a fan oven, convection oven. That's 200 for a conventional one. That's gas six. So I'll just whack those in for 15 to 20 minutes and maybe check them halfway through, maybe turn them around a bit. Now back to the blinny batter. Blinny batter, yeah. <laughs> That's not fizzing at all, but I'm Pretty sure it's okay. So what we need to do now is whisk the egg whites to soft peaks and then fold them in to that. So we fold it into that. I don't exactly know how you're supposed to manage this because you the idea is to not knock the air out. Okay that will have to do so now I need to just cover this again and leave it for another couple of hours. But actually I think I might leave it till tomorrow. Because it's late. It's the next day. So um, I did my sausage rolls and uh, there they are. What remains of them. We'll do a taste test later. And here's my blinny batter which as uh, yeah it's a little bit bubbly and foamy so I think that will be wonderful all we need to do now is cook it okay so we're going to cook up some blinny blinnies or whatever so you want a knob of butter in a frying pan and just get that melted then get your batter and you can give it a, a little stir now, like all pancakes, your first one or two or three or four will be rubbish, but you've got to start somewhere. That was too much. You, you, you want a um, sort of dessert spoon size. Right, so that's the first one. Um, too big, not very good. So now we'll, we'll see if we can do some proper ones. Smaller spoon, you know, a smaller blob of batter. Basically, you want to cook them for two or three minutes each side. I've done two platefuls and got the last batch in now. now I'm going to put some toppings on my blinny. And uh, a very, very popular topping is smoked salmon. And with that, I've got some sour cream, or you could use creme fraiche, or you know, any, anything that's kind of thick and creamy and maybe a bit sharp and sour would be great. Roll up a sliver of smoked salmon. Lime caught from your own estate in Scotland, of course. And then a few snipped chives. 
or dill would be excellent on these as well. Right, so I haven't got to eat those till the boss comes home. The other topping I'm going to do is bacon and tomato, basically. So I've got some American mustard just because fancy it, and um, you can use Dijon or English mustard, whatever floats your boat. And in fact, you can use anything. You could use mayonnaise, tomato ketchup, and you know, for this layer, it's just glue to stick your bacon on with. So the bacon I've um, cooked to a crisp. This is smoked streaky. And pop your tomato on. Oh, drizzle of olive oil. And it's always nice to finish things like this with a bit of um, something fresh and green. So, a couple of basil leaves. And now it's <laughs> taste of time. Taste of time. <laughs> this is Keith Cooks. <laughs> How are you, my dear? He made me wear this. Very well, my dear. <laughs> this one's in it. Oh, 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 they're pretty. He's mine. <laughs> Ooh, is that smoked salmon blues? Yes. I knew he was making them. Uh, but it's lovely to see. Mm. Mm. <laughs> Trick is not to drop it down your front. Mm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, there's that lovely comforting doughy thing at the bottom. Mm. Not too thick. Mm. So, is that sour cream? Yes. Mm. Um, right, so. Seriously. Mm. Bacon, tomato, mustard, um, and. And basil. Oh, is that the strong mustard? Because I don't like the hot one no, that you like. It's the, uh, it's the mild one. <clears throat> ah, okay. <laughs> you wouldn't lie to me, would you? <laughs> not, not when it concerns. It's Christmas time. <laughs> the matter of pungency. Mm. Of stuff. That's nice. I invented that. That's marvellous. <laughs> I invented that one as well. And not sausage roll. Not sausage roll. It's Christmas, isn't it? And I don't know about you. I've got a bit of the first stuff. Would you like some? No? Okay. No, I've given up drinking for Christmas. <laughs> Father Christmas won't come if you tell fibs. <laughs> <laughs> that, what's that, stuffing? Yeah, they're all that cranberry and uh, chestnut. Mm -hmm. Stuffing. That's, that's actually a nice mix. Yeah. Oh yeah. So is it easy to do all of those? How long do you think it's taken you in total? Three days. <laughs> <laughs> well, no, the, that has to... <clears throat> That, the dough has to mature, doesn't it? Well, it has to well. ferment, but, mm. but you can do that in um, two or three hours. Oh yeah, and you said you can do it overnight in a fridge, can't you? I didn't think anything would ferment in a fridge. I thought that was the point of a fridge. Once that's in, how long do you think it's taken to put this lot together? Once you've got your dough, it only takes three or four minutes cooking. Mm. And then it's just, you know, it's just all the bits. spread your stuff, cook your salmon. Mm. Right. <laughs> Thank you for watching and see you next time. Yeah. Mwah. You've done it again. Yes. Well, I haven't got much on it though. So see you next time.